In this video, I want to show you guys what the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 bulb looks like on the fog lights of your 2020 to 2022 Ford Super Duty. I'm going to show you what it looks like compared to even the Ultra 2 bulb, and then I'm going to show you how to install it. The third generation of the popular GTR Lighting LED bulbs provide even more darkness destroying output than ever before. Unlike its competitors, every aspect has been carefully considered, resulting in a multifaceted masterpiece that leaves no detail behind. It's equipped with custom LEDs. It's a powerhouse that ensures unparalleled performance, while its optimized positioning guarantees efficient light distribution, eliminating the wastage. GTR Lighting is committed to building a durable LED bulb. It's 100% potted and waterproof, ready to conquer anything. It's also super compact with an internal driver, providing 4,700 lumens of luminosity output with effortless installation. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. It's a bulb that outshines and outlasts the competition. Now your stock fog light housing is this reflector based housing. It's got a bunch of mirrors inside and the wire wound filament out of your halogen bulb, your original bulb, that's a 9005 bulb type. It's very particular where it's placed inside of this fog light because if it's placed too far forward, too far back, or it's too big, it's going to scatter the light all over and then blind you. It's not gonna actually be a very useful light output when you're driving down the road using your fog lights. GTR Lighting knows that and they've done it for years and years replicating that wire wound filament with their bulb and they've just done it better with the Ultra 3. So what I wanna do is back this truck up 10 meters from the wall. I'll actually probably pull it a little bit closer so you guys can see how much more width you're gonna get out of the Ultra 3 bulb. I'm gonna compare not only the Ultra 3, but the Ultra 2 to the stock halogen bulb. I'm gonna use a digital lux meter to measure the actual usable brightness, just to make that the benchmark, and then compare it to the Ultra 2 and Ultra 3. Now this is what your stock fog lights look like on your vehicle. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice it's that dated yellow color again, that's from the halogen bulbs. And I only measured 127 maximum lux at the brightest point on the wall. That is laughable. That is not very good out of this reflector housing. The Ultra 2 that came out years and years ago, in this test I measured 1013 maximum lux. It was 698% brighter. Now remember, there is a white version and a yellow version. There was years ago and there is today. So the yellow Ultra 2 fog lights look like this. It was 892 maximum lux, where it was 602% brighter than your stock bulbs. Why is it less bright than the white? Well, generally we see about 30% loss in brightness when you have a yellow versus the white. That's pretty normal. This doesn't lose that much brightness, but neither did the Ultra 3. In white with the Ultra 3, I measured 1,529 maximum lux. So it was 1,104% brighter. You're also gonna notice the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 in white is a different color white than the GTR Ultra 2. As you can see, it's a little bit more warmer, a little more comfortable on the eyes when you're driving long distances. And it's insanely bright, even brighter than the Ultra 2, which used to be what you called the king of bulbs. In yellow, it looks like this. I measure 1,438 maximum lux, which is 1,032% brighter than your halogen fog lights. That is wild for a yellow bulb to be that bright. The yellow version of the Ultra 3 is just about as bright as the white version. Absolutely wild. It's pretty amazing to me how much brighter the light output is out of a fog light, no matter if it's the yellow or the white Ultra 3 compared to your halogen bulb. It also has that lifetime warranty that's obviously a no-brainer. Now, installing it's also super easy. You can lay down, reach your hand up, turn your original 9005 bulb counterclockwise, pull it away and disconnect your OEM wiring and then just connect the 9005 Ultra 3 bulb in the exact same way, reach up, clock it in place, and make sure that it's sitting upright like this. You want the cord facing down, and if for some reason it's sitting at an angle like that, it's going to give you a bad fog light beam pattern. All you gotta do is grab the included Allen wrench here and locate the little screw right here. We're gonna loosen it up, and with it loosened up, not even removed, just loosened up, you can then change the positioning of the collar. You see how this would be locked into your fog light housing? And now you can position this in the exact way you need it to. Once it's locked into place, you can tighten it down with that same screw, and you're good to go. Now it's aligned properly. It's going to project down the road properly. It's not going to glare on the road. 
That's all it takes to get the best bulb, the brightest bulb installed on your Super Duty. Go to headlightrevolution.com. We've tested tons of products for this when it comes to lighting, like replacement housings if you don't just want to upgrade the LED bulb, or aftermarket headlights, or taillights, third brake lights, and so much more. We'll see you guys over there. Of course, post anything else you'd like to see in the comments below.